Hello, I'm Isaiah Mitchell and I play guitar for Earthless and the Black Crows. And today I'm going to be opening some boxes of these new orange petals and we're gonna listen to them and hear how they sound and have some fun with them. First one's Distortion, number 33, it's a great number. There was people posting old vintage petals, orange vintage petals on social media and people were like, hey Orange, why don't you bring these back? They didn't even have any of these petals lying around their shop really, but they managed to find some old schematics, I guess with tea stains on them, just old messed up schematics, and they started making these petals again. So it's distortion. We have the Orange Sustain. I really like the simplicity. I'm into less knobs myself. Uh, not a lot to mess with. So I imagine that they have a really nice tonal range. And the final, phaser. I'm really excited about this one. I love phasers. Oh, look at this. Talk about simple. Doesn't get any more simple than that. I'm excited to see what they did to the inside of these things. So it's just, all you got is a rate, you know, speed. All right, let's hear what the orange distortion sounds like. I will first play the clean tone, no, no pedal, and then back to the pedal. I have the level set at 12 o'clock and the depth, which uh, is just the distortion amount at nine o'clock. It's really cool, it adds a lot of top-end sizzle to the sound, it's, I really like it. Very bright. So let's, let's mess around with the depth. So there's the depth at 12 o'clock. Yeah, it's, it just kind of reminds me of British metal, like great late 60s, 70s British metal. It's got that metallic feel. So let's go a little higher. Let's go about two o'clock on the depth. It's a very loud pedal. So if we're starting at the clean again, quite a boost. So I like that a lot in, in any kind of overdrive, sustain, gain, fuzz, pedal, something that gets louder than your clean signal because so many vintage pedals, they can kind of dip down the volume once they're engaged. So personally, I like that. Let's go all the way depth we're maxing it out it's got a really heavy sound i'm really enjoying playing this a great distortion pedal. Let's now check out the orange sustain pedal. So I will start with the volume, uh, the level, right at 12 o'clock and it's got a little notch that it sits in letting you know you're right at 12 o'clock. And then we'll start with the depth at 9 o'clock. So again here it is without the pedal. There we go. Pedal engaged. Subtle difference right here. It like kind of fills it out. It adds a little bit more body, a little bit more warmth to it right at this setting with uh, the clean. So that's a good sign already. I like that. Let's add a little more depth. So right now we're at 12 o'clock. So you can see that it adds a lot more warmth the more we go up, of course. Uh, let's boost it a little bit more. Let's see what happens. So the level's going up. 
So the level's at about two o'clock and then we got the depth at one o'clock. cool sound to it just it adds a uh, you know like a new flavor to your clean whole lot of flavor you know a lot of body more depth it stays very clean uh, very quiet this one is just adding some warmth and uh, like adding some funk to your clean signal that just keeps the note holding on a lot longer and adds a nice color to it. It's, you know, like pushing it, like really hitting, hitting the amp, the clean part of the amp. Uh, yeah, just adding good warmth and saturation to it. Next up is the orange phaser and I've been looking forward to this one big time. So yeah, let's check it out. Right now, the speed is all the way uh, max to the slowest possible. Very nice lushness to this pedal. Being that it's just a one knob to control the rate, uh, other pedals that are this simple, I've found to not have a lot of depth and body to the, the phase effect. And I've kind of put them by, by the way, so I just get them, you know, I don't use them. But this one, uh, it's very strong in its effect, so you can't go wrong with it. Um, it sounds beautiful and very very applicable and it's got extremely nice uh extremely nice slow sweep to it so for those big like lush open ambient sections of your song or whatever uh it's gonna work out really well all right let's uh let's pick up the speed a little bit so we're at about 11 o'clock So let's go about two o'clock. Fantastic. This is a great pedal. I like this one a lot. Let's go faster. Let's go four o'clock. Very strong. Maxed out. Very fun. So you could get total freak out. You know, 
get some nice high oscillation. I like how this pedal goes to just about like a slap back echo kind of like ring modulator just where the note is almost doubled due to that speed. Yeah, that's great. To have that opportunity is fantastic. So, And then go right back into the beautiful lushness. Very cool phaser. I like this one a lot. So now I'm going to have fun with all three of these pedals at once. Now that you've heard them each individually, let's see how they operate together. I like a lot of these uh, different combos here. The phaser is just beautiful on its own, but yeah, adding the sustain pedal. This brings a whole wall of uh, new personality and warmth to it. Really, I'm, I like that combo personally. And then we got the distortion and the phase. nice sound together. Uh, it's got a nice like high-end scoop sound that complements the phaser that both the distortion and the phaser together is nice. And the distortion with the sustain uh, I really like too. It just it does add a whole new level of holding that note for you and just going and again it changes the color of it as well. <laughs> big time. So yeah, where the distortion has a nice top end sizzle to it, uh, the sustain adds some body, adds some mids to uh, the signal. So that's a nice combination of pedals. Um, they all work really well together and you can get a whole array of sounds with one knob for the, the speed and for the phaser and then for the, each other pedal, the distortion the sustain, just the two knobs, you can get all kinds of combinations of sound. Pretty endless uh, for how basic these pedals are. There's a lot in them, so I think you will enjoy them very much. I'm having fun with them right now.